You going? Yeah. Sup people, welcome back to the lovely Heaven's Kitchen. Today we're making something which I'm not going to say it and ruin it. Let's just say that... No, I can't think of a pun. Well, I'm making pork wrapped with bacon. Yeah, I couldn't think of a pun there. I'm kind of a bit drained on that fact. So it's quite simple. Even though you can't see a thing I'm doing right now. Come out here, you pork. You pork. You porky porky pork. You pork of piece of pork. No, oh, anyway. You know, here you go. Your fat, juicy pork. Are you going to come a bit closer? No. You, whatever. People have learned long before that you're the world. I mean, world's. He swore. I'm not gonna ever get through one episode without swearing, I swear. Come on! Whatever. You'll... The cat's out of the bag. Let's just get on with the show. Maybe you'll try next week. Yeah, maybe. What am I doing? Alright, this, this is an indicator. Maybe I should wash my hands first, people. Good kitchen practice this is. Alright. Now that I've washed my hands and haven't dried the peasant. The wrong one. Blur that. I'll just cut it out instead. No, it's the lazy way. You have to learn to blur. It just a, that's been for dishing off the hands. I'm a dish. Any girl will back me up on that. Shut up. There you are, knife. Ow. Where would any man be without one of you? Where would anyone be without you? <laughs> Alright. You're in my once again, like always, you can't see anything I'm doing right now, but you just have to learn to live with that. It's great enough if that you people are turning up and watching this stuff. Now, the recipe says two pork fillets and cut them in half, but, seeing as I went for four, because more is better, I don't even have to cut the pork. All I've got to do... Is that on? Oh, I'm trimming the fat off the pork. Make it look nice and presentable and get rid of the fat. I, mean, I should cut something considering that I don't have to cut anything. I'm not lazy. What was that? It's probably stuff. I don't know, I'll look at it later. It's a Facebook message. Just shouldn't you preheat the oven? Good thinking, Tim! <laughs> Where would I be without you? With a better cameraman, probably, but we may do with what we got. Uh, hopefully, I'll. not grill, what am I doing? I'm a retard. What's 180? It's, yes. it's the temperature. Something near 200. It's the temperature, you yeah, noob. Yeah, I know what 180. I mean, where is it on the thing? Oh, it's close enough, I reckon. It's in increments of 10. Huh? Can you count the marks from 200 backwards? Oh, is it the one behind 200? It's the second one behind 200 because it goes oh. in increments of 10. Can he count in 10s? That's, yeah, that's pretty much 80. 180. And yes, Tim, smart ass, I can count in 10s. Here, have a bit of fat. Chew the fat and shut up. <laughs> suck on fat, not suck on that. It's so difficult to chop through fat. People don't think it is because it's fat at the top. <sighs> Hopefully I'll be getting a new camera soon. Oh yeah, that's something I should mention. To anyone who watches this stuff, we're getting a new camera soon. Doesn't mean we're going to upgrade the quality, it just means we're getting a new camera. So actually it has nothing to do with the viewing experience. I just thought I'd share that. Conversation, you know? 
Oh, oh, and whilst I'm at it, finally, I've not got a special guest with me today. Because Wahid, although he's coming later, he's not here right now. Just as I say that, there's a knock on the door. <laughs> so yeah, hashtag alone. That's the first time anyone's used that hashtag for good use rather than sad use. <laughs> and if no one else comes down and notices the video... No, I mean, what, when I say special guest, I basically just mean Wahid, because he's been here for the past God knows how many Heaven's Kitchen episodes. Yeah, but I mean, if no one else has come down, I can just leave with Jester and Tim without any special guests. <laughs> oh, yeah, anything to make it easier for Tim. I have to delete one element off the template title screen and change the episode number. And retile it. <laughs> okay, keeping on the track of the fat. Mm. At least I can put a my new camera. I should be getting on a tripod. Mm -hmm. That means we can set it up in the kitchen, and you can have a closer view of the food. And then I can go to bed. Yes, and of course, it means Tim is even lazier. <laughs> no, Tim, you still have to be here because the camera's not going to be in the same place the whole time. Yeah, it will. Your job is literally to move the, tri the camera on the tripod you know? back and forth across the kitchen at times. That, that's all you have to do. But that will induce camera shake. You don't, you don't, you cut out the bits when you move it. It's more fit editing work. Oh god, you're lazy. Yeah. I, I don't think he's that, like, I think he's that lazy, but it seems every single episode you, you find a way to be even lazier than he already is. Mm. There's my brother's toy crocodile. <laughs> Flash toy crocodile over there. Huh? I was just showing you them. Walter. Oh, of course, yeah, you were going completely off topic to what I'm actually doing here. It's not that interesting. But you can barely see it. Yeah. I've got a crazy idea which you may want to consider, Tim, seeing you're just sitting on a chair. How about moving it closer? No. That way you can still sit down. No. Ah, <coughs> oh, come on, you pork. Pork it up, porky. Mm. God, Tim, you're so lazy. <laughs> If you were on a contract to do this cameraman stuff, I would have fired you long ago. <laughs> Baking paper. It's a bit too tall. Hmm? It's a bit too high. Just hold it, Tim. How about that? No. Lazy. I know it. Is. Hashtag lazy. Come on, stay still. Obviously, now I've got it dirty and just whatever. What's the biggest spoon this can put? 
I'm a man. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot of pesto. I'll take this one. <laughs> Stay still, you stupid piece of I'll take that one there. Bloody thing won't stay still. Yeah, how about holding it? Why can't it be have level lids? Level, I'm not even going to get into that. Sometimes I think you're dumber than why. <laughs> oh, hello, Tim. All of a sudden, the people are finally getting a close up on the food after like 14 episodes of this stuff. <laughs> Luckily for them, it's a dish I've not made before, not one which I keep coming back to time and time again. They can't see you, but it doesn't matter. As long as I can see what I'm making. For once. They <laughs> can see the lovely green... <laughs> pieces of pork I have here. So eloquently displayed. Now, I've always wanted to try this. Let's have a little fun, people, shall we? Mm. No. Alright, listen. Can I see this? Yes. My face as well? Yes. Go back. Can you see my face? Okay. Yeah. This here, people, is pesto. I've always wanted to try pure pesto. If I'm about to throw up, then my own stupid fault. Tim, get ready to get hit by me running towards the sink. Three. Oh, I don't want to do this now. Three. You can bow from the bin. One. Let's do this! Oh, it's so strong. Oh my god. I'll lick the back of the spoon to finish it off. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that to anyone, in case they're wondering. God, that is so strong. What do I need now? Oh, back on. There it is. It's strong. This actually got a really nice aftertaste. So now I kind of would recommend it. Whatever. When I say this stuff, I'm not asking for your opinion because I know it's always going to be no, I don't care, or whatever. Nice rindless streaky bacon. It's streaking. I didn't pull this apart really sloppily. <laughs> okay, how am I going to do this? Got to wrap it round. So. Food gymnastics, right here. <laughs> Probably the longest part of the, the dish. Bacon. Same way. No, because some of them are differently shaped. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Whatever, just hurry up. Jesus Christ, I'm not in a rush. Yeah. Just want to avoid my brother. Hmm? Just want to avoid my brother. What do you mean, avoid your brother? He and his racket. Oh, God, what an old man, you know, a mm. complaintive old man. Alright, I'm trying each one in a different way. That would wrap like that. Mm -hmm. Well, 
well, this one shall be wrapped like that. Whatever. This one's weird shaped. This bow too kind of difficult to wrap properly. So this one's got a nice parcel shape on it. And hopefully you don't really need to speak. Oh no, I shouldn't. Oh fuck, I'm gonna pick this one up as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Bacon doesn't wrap that well. Oh my god, it's like all over the place. Oh my god. Whatever. It's like whatever. I'm gonna get lazy now. I really am. One. Which is a good line to tear down. There we go, I found it. There we go. Two. I mean, three. Oh boy, I don't have to use this one now. Have I? More baking paper needed. Uh, I've got raw pork on my hands, so. Grab the scissors out the drawer and cut that, would you? Let's go roll it a bit. That's good enough, whatever. <laughs> Last one. Well, I went through a lot of bacon. <laughs> Perfect fit of Norman Nazi from Perfect. Where's the bone? There it is. Pick it up by the bone, it's easiest. There we go. And I'll get those in the oven shortly. Okay. So, people, this is pretty much it. Bacon wrapped over pork with pesto in between it. We'll let you know how it turns out. Anyway, yeah, this has been episode. Uh, yeah, this has been episode 15 of Heaven's Kitchen, and like all the others, subscribe, rate, share it amongst your friends. I never say this in any others. Why don't I do this? Anyway, all that malarkey. So yeah, this has been episode 15 of Heaven's Kitchen, and um, catch y'all next week for episode 16. Peace out, mofos.